all the time. It's because you always look funny. Yeah. I beg to differ a lot of times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Oops, I kicked the camera. I'm kicking. I'm going to cross my leg. It's all right. I'll cross it. There, I crossed it. I like to cross my leg. Oh, you know. I wonder if I should move some stuff that's been there forever. Nah, I'll just leave it. It's been there forever. Mm -hmm. If I move it, I won't know where I moved it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, it feels like it's too far that way. Almost. Almost. Right there. Right there, actually. Yes. It was like looking out the door mm. is what it was doing and but not at me. It was it feel like it felt like I should lean over here. Mm. <laughs> I don't okay. want to lean over there. Okay. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was a little bit chillier, as you notice. I've been wearing long sleeves. Jim says, no, no. <laughs> you're too funny. It was to me. I hope you all enjoyed the little pictures I put in of the little girls and their hair. That has been uh, the last little girl, uh, when I did her hair, I didn't put her arms on. And then I put her arms on, and now look at her, and she's just adorable. Look at Karina Anna. These dolls are adorable. You put the dresses on. And, oh my goodness, it transforms them to little cuties. So I guess you can dress up a stump. <laughs> <laughs> but look at her. I put her hair in a ponytail. This is the one that was half done. And I made like a little um, oh, head thing for her. And put her hair in a ponytail. If I'd known I was going to put it in a ponytail, I could have made some of these longer. But I didn't know how I was going to do her hair. But when I got done, I thought, oh, a ponytail looks good. Well, I got her done, and I got her dress done. Oh, put your dress down, little lady. You're not supposed, that's not very ladylike. And so she's done, too. And then they're just adorable. I'm working on the blue one right now. She's She was the first doll I made, but the last doll to get a dress. And these this one was the last doll that I made, and it was the first one to get a dress. So, like, in the Bible, I guess the first shall be last and the last shall be first just like that mm -hmm. and it's adorable Emily saw them and she thought they were cute you want to hold my doll it's my little blessing have a little blessing you have two <laughs> blessings God bless you okay now I wanted to share something that I'm not really a makeup person but I am a makeup person with with help with my grandkids <laughs> I have a granddaughter who is really into makeup and she's doing really really good with her makeup and she said Nona you can do it too and I'm thinking nah, Nona can't even see if she takes off her glasses but I don't have any eyebrows and so I want to show you what I use on my eyebrows so that you if maybe you don't have eyebrows either and you want to touch them up I use a little brush this is just a little elf brush I'll take it out it's just a tiny little just a tiny little brush. I think you can see. It's like an angled brush. I don't know if it's focused or not. I can never tell. It looks focused all the time. <laughs> but this is the brush. And then what I do is I dampen it with a little bit of water. And then I use, I've had these eyeshadows forever. And it's a, it's a brown. I've tried to choose a color that was close to my my coloring and so this is what I'm using it's it it was just in a kit that you buy you buy all this makeup and it's got lipstick and eyeshadow and lip liner and it's got a lot of stuff that I never use but my grandkids love to look at it and so I thought well you know she said to buy an angle brush and what she uses this for in the eyeshadow is she she can't do eyeliner with the eyeliner stuff so she uses this brush and she does her eyeliner and it really looks really professional but like I say I can't see if I take off my glasses 
So this little angle brush, it's called a small angle brush by e.l.f. And that's what I use because when I, when I wash my face, I have very few eyebrows, very few. And I don't even know if they're on very good or not because I just kind of follow my other, what my real eyebrow is shaped like, that's what my shape is. So that's what you're seeing. And so you would see that if I had real eyebrows, you can see the eyebrow. I have real eyebrows. My eyebrows are there. I have very little hair on my eyebrows. And I have very little eyelashes. Which is funny that I don't have any eyelashes. It's like crazy. Because so, I see some people with eyelashes and they've got beautiful eyelashes. And I don't have very many eyelashes. My eyelashes are disappearing. I'm going albino, I guess. Well, no, hairless. Um, up, up. Albinos are white. Uh, that's right, albinos white. Well, I'm going that too. <laughs> <laughs> um, alopecia, alopecia, alopecia maybe? Bald? Might be it. I think, I can't remember. It's been too many years that I've used any medical or, or terms. I like to hear them but because it kind of refreshes me. Okay, I guess that's enough of that stuff. I'm going to put a little video in right here. Yesterday I mentioned her feet, but it was difficult, the angle I was at. She's showing, I'm showing you her feet right now. She's kind of standing up. She isn't going anywhere yet, but she's looking around like she would love to fly up onto the, to the rim of the playpen, but I don't know if she can even walk, let alone fly up there and hang on. For those of you that wanted to see Mr. Brown, here's Mr. Brown. He's having a little drink. He's been out and about for about two and a half hours. So it's time for him to come into his cage and have a little drink and a little bit of um, food. A lot of you have commented that it would be nice to have holes cut into the sling so she can put her feet down. Well, I don't think you were aware that I had already done that. She looked so comfy cradled in there that you didn't know her feet were on the floor. She's in this for a few hours and then she's back in the playpen for a few hours and we go back and forth. This way she has a variety of different areas that she can be in. Right now, she's in the playpen. I'll show you her. There she is in the playpen. Hello there, little lady. You're, you're standing up nicely. She's actually kept, she's moved about and done her business so that I haven't had to wash her bottom like I was before. She moves away from the poop and so her bottom has been staying clean. I'm sure she's enjoying that. Do you want to get out? Oh, you do. Up. Come on. He says, I want out. All right. There you go. You're out. Let me, let me move over here. Okay. He's so happy. Oh, you found the chair that I gave you. I put that there so he could hop up on it if he wanted to. You're doing good too, Mr. Brown. Yes, you are. Look at you. We'll get down close. Get close and personal with you. Say hello, everybody. Oh, you are starting to get your little redness under your chin. I saw it. Yes, you are. Look at that. You're starting to show a little redness under there. That's a true rooster. They start to get that redness. And is your crown or cone, whatever they call it, it's, it's, it's getting red, it's starting. getting pinkish. Yeah. Let me look at you. Hold on, hold on. Let me look at you. He's got some curly feathers right here. He's got one that goes backwards and on this side. He's got a little curly hair. <laughs> You got funny feathers. This one curls the wrong direction. 
I wonder if it'll always do that, or if it'll fall off and yeah, the new one will come in straight. He was showing us all of him, front side, back side, all around side. You scratch and there's no dirt there. You can you can see the redness under his chinny chin chin. I won't pick a towel out of there. That's where she had the tomato. My goodness, you can see all her silver stuff that she's taken off. Her dander or whatever it is. You can see it. Are you pecking at my shoe? I put my old shoes on, and he pecks at them. Had my new shoes on earlier. Because I know those. Mm-hmm. I need to hold it. No, just... Let me see what I catch. Might not catch anything. Nobody wants to do anything. Look at all that. Over there. You gonna get up? You gonna move a little bit? Huh? You gonna walk? Huh? As I put more stuff in. Took a step. Took another step. Taking a couple steps. Is there poop under her? That's why she's moving. Because she moves when she poops. See what I have to pick up? <laughs> Try and walk over there. Here. Take another step. You almost did it. You're hobbling. That's good. Good job. Well, now that the video was put in, you know what it was about. <laughs> gonna say and then I changed my mind because you're gonna see what it is and the little lady she's doing oh my goodness it's amazing every day she's doing a little more in fact I was going to put her in a different container for her sling thing because her, she seems like she's pretty long now that she's standing up straight and her tail is getting straighter it felt like she didn't have enough room so I tried something a little bit different and it looked like she was gonna try to jump out of it so I thought, well, I better put her back in the taller one. So I did. And those of you that have suggested holes in the slings, in her sling thing, I had holes in it, but you couldn't tell because she was lay, she was cuddled in it so nicely. Now, if you were to see her, she stands up really tall in it. She's really gaining a lot of strength. And I haven't had to wash her bottom off because every time she poops, she kind of stands up and poops and then she kind of moves so that the poop is left behind and when you saw the playpen it looked like blood no that wasn't she had a tomato <laughs> and she made the the paper towel all pink and that's what that was that was a tomato so if you saw that I have removed it now because she's actually pooped on that section and I thought well the tomato really was not a problem she's gone through a lot of paper towels and it's a good thing there's not a toilet paper shortage because me and she, they both have gone through a lot of toilet paper because I pick up their little poops with the toilet paper and then throw it in the toilet and I've gone through a whole roll and I'm on the second roll now so it's a good thing there's no shortage because yeah. I would be up a crick I'd be wiping with leaves <laughs> or something kind of to go outside and forage for something well, that is my, I said everything I wanted to tell them. Did I, did I tell them? Did I tell you I went to the lawyers? Today? No, you didn't. Oh, I didn't. Well, I, we well, went you to, might have. I don't remember if I did or not, but 
we went to the lawyers to sign our parts of the paper. It's still this house, I'm telling you. It was supposed to be all settled by August 7th. Actually, September 7th. Or, no, August. Yeah, August 7th. This, a, is, this, is, this is September. September. <laughs> August 7th, it was supposed to be settled. And they still have not closed. And the uh, and what they tell me is the other lawyer is holding things up. So they've already, the legal, paralegal that works at the law, lawyer's office that we work at, he hand delivers everything because he wants to make, because he doesn't want them to say they didn't get it. So he hand delivers all the paperwork and things, and they're just kind of dragging their feet. Now, this is the other lawyer is the same lawyer that did my incorporating for my daycare, and he did a terrible job. Jim had to finish the incorporation. Good thing there's computers. Oh, and talk about computers. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what I got today? Finish oh. your other lawyer oh, story first. Lawyer, but I don't remember. I was gonna, that's it. <laughs> all right. He just, he just, he just doesn't do very good. And he, he, Jim finished the incorporating of my daycare on the computer. He filled out the papers and we sent him into the state and that, that was the end of that story. Okay, now okay. on the telemarketers. Oh, I know a lot of you don't like telemarketers and a lot of you think it's very dangerous to be talking to these people, but you know, I just kind of drag them along and see how long they can stay on the phone with me because it's like, what can I do for you today kind of deal. This one guy, the first one that called, his name was David, because I said, because he, he actually was going to help me try to figure out what computer I could afford, <laughs> which was really pretty good because I told him my computer wasn't wouldn't turn on anymore. It's been dead for, for 10 years, and it, the Acer has been dead for a long time, but he doesn't know that I have another one in the house because if they ask if I have any more computers, I go, well, I've got an iPad. And then they do, they tell me they don't can't help me any with whatever the problem is that they're trying to say my IP address. And I say, well, IP address? What is that? I play real stupid, real dumb. And then um, when he was talking about, I, the wind started to close my door and made a noise. And they said, ooh, the wind is bad here. It's blowing my door shut. I says, is the wind bad there? And he goes, well, it was, but it's better now. And I said, oh, were you in that terrible storm? And he said he was. And he had, and I says, are you safe? Did you get any damage? And then we went on to that subject. And he said that a friend of his said that he could go with and stay with them while the storm was passing by, and then they've gone back home. And I said, where are you? And then he gave me his phone number. <laughs> <laughs> so that when I get my computer, because he, he told me what computer to buy, and he goes, well, what range do you want to be in? Do you want to be in a 300, 400, 500? I said, I could go up to maybe 500, but it don't, but, and then he says, any more? And I says, no, I'm on Social Security. And so I, he told me, he looked it up on Amazon to see, and he says, and I said, well, when I go to the library, <laughs> I'll look it up in Amazon too. And he says, oh, if you don't have Amazon, or if you have to go to the library to look it up, maybe maybe it'd be better just to go to a store. And I says, um, oh, Best Buy? Is that a good store? And he goes, yeah, Best Buy is a good store. So, and Best Buy, we don't have any here. <laughs> we have to travel to get to one. Um, and he says, and make sure when you go there, you don't get anything extra on it, like any security stuff on it, because that'll cost you more. I go, oh, okay, and he told me which one I should buy, and it was said it would be $409, and then whatever, you know, the extra you have to pay the tax and that, but it's about at $409. He said, that would be a good computer, since you don't use a computer very often, <laughs> he said, that would be a good computer for you. And so it was really a, a fun conversation. Then the next one that called, his name was Anthony. 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 Yeah, yeah. Anthony. Anthony. And he asked me how I was, and I said, I'm doing fine. And I asked him how he was, and he says, doing good, too. And I said, and then he said that the reason he was calling was because of my IP address was being, what had been. And I says, what? I said, my IP address? He goes, yeah, when you're paying your bills or whatever, some people in different countries are watching you pay your bills, and so it's been compromised and needs to be. And I says, I don't pay any bills online. 
I says, my computer is not working. And he goes, well, how long has your computer not been working? Well, this one I told six months. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing they don't talk to each other. And um, he says, oh, he says, well, do you have another um, kind, kind of device in the house? And I go, well, I have iPads. And he goes, oh, okay. Well, thank you very much, and I'll talk to you at another time. And he hung up. So that was the end of that. So it's kind of fun. If you if you play stupid, really not too smart, and like you don't understand, and then pretend you're old, even though you're not really that old. You can pretend you're old. They can't see you. They don't have, um, I don't have a phone that has me in it. <laughs> so that was the fun of today. And I watched a lot of videos, and I crocheted, and I took care of the chickens. And that was my day. So we're going to talk about my day. We talked about mm -hmm. my day. We talk about my day every day. So I'm, it was nice, really nice visiting with you. And I'm glad that everybody that comes back, I get to visit with you all the time. It's like you're, we didn't have any coffee, did we? Oh, well, maybe we should have had a cup of coffee. It was kind of long, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> it will be long by the time you see that video on me talking. So we'll say goodbye in this way. You can go do something that you need to do after, you, after you've watched me. So, alrighty. So, goodbye. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.